Hey everybody, today's recipe, we are making healthy lemon pudding. Now what's in this? We're gonna be using some coconut milk. That's gonna make it nice and creamy. And the chia seeds, okay? That's gonna give us our sort of pudding-like texture. But I do something a little different than a lot of people do with their chia seeds, and I'll show you that when we get started. Uh, we're also using some fresh lemon juice, organic of course, and some lemon zest for that really nice lemon flavor. I seem to have a theme going on here. Have you noticed? I mean, if you've been watching my videos, you notice that I just put out a lemon chicken uh, and coconut dish, and it's just really, really great. So I'm into, I'm into lemon and coconut right now, so bear with me, all right? I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make this pudding right after this. You guys are gonna love this recipe. It is very simple to make. We only have a few ingredients, and we're gonna start off by Okay, grinding up my chia seeds. That's what I do that's different than everybody else. And I do it because I want my pudding to have a smooth texture. If you leave them whole, un, you know, if you don't grind them up, then uh, you're gonna get, you know, these little lumps in there. So I like to grind them up. You can leave it or do it. It's up to you. So I'm gonna take uh, a fair amount here of chia seeds. And these guys are loaded with fiber and protein. And I tell you, it, they pack a punch. They really do. So we're gonna pour that into my little grinder here and I'm gonna grind away. I have some already ground up and I save them and uh, use them when I need them. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna show you what the chia seeds will look like after we've ground them up. Now we're gonna measure out. I'm gonna get a half a cup here. Make sure your thing's dry. And I like to measure it out after I've, I've grinded them up. And I'm gonna place those in my bowl right here. Now here's the difference between being having them ground up and not. So I store whatever I don't use in my recipe in just in a mason jar or any other container that you have, nice and sealed. And then they're ready to go the next time I wanna make this. So to our chia seeds here in the bowl, we're gonna add one can of full fat coconut milk. And here's the brand that I'm using. This is just a, a, just a general you know, coconut milk that I picked up at Safeway. So we'll get those chia seeds in there and they'll start absorbing that liquid and start thickening up, because it takes a while. So we'll just give that a stir so that everything's coated. And you wanna make sure you break up any lumps, get it all evenly distributed throughout the the coconut milk, get those seeds going. Next, I like to add just a little touch of vanilla extract. It always brings out the sweetness in your recipes. Now, I mentioned I have my, I have two organic lemons that we're gonna zest, and we're gonna use all the zest from these guys because those oils are gonna really give us some really nice lemon flavor. Now, to sweeten this up, we're gonna be using, uh, you have a couple, of, well, you have many choices, really, depending on what you wanna do. I like to use either maple syrup or date paste. I've used maple syrup the most and I know that works really well. And you can adjust the sweetness to just the right amount to balance out the, the acidity of the lemon. So you're gonna have to play with that just a little bit, I think. But we'll give you some guidelines on how much to use, which I'd probably start out with maybe, maybe a tablespoon. Now with the date paste, we're gonna probably use, I don't know, maybe quarter cup, we'll start with that and we'll, we'll taste it. So, and you can do a combination of both if you want. I'm gonna give that another stir. And this is gonna take, you know, several hours in the refrigerator and overnight is really best uh, to let it really thicken up. Now here's our fresh squeezed lemon juice. We'll pour some of that in there. And I'm gonna give that another stir. And I'm gonna add some date paste. The last thing I'm gonna add is a pinch of salt, just a little pinch, not much, and, and this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I have a little bit of lemon extract here, so I'm gonna add just a little bit to, to my dish here. Give it a stir. So I like to serve these up. I'm just gonna place uh, some of the pudding in individual dishes. And then you wanna refrigerate it for at least several hours, and overnight is best, so it thickens up. So while we're waiting for our pudding to chill and firm up, it's time for our chef joke. All right, so here we go. What did the Francais or the French chef give to his wife on Valentine's Day?
a hug and a quiche. All right, it's been 24 hours and I chilled the chia pudding in the fridge, you know, until it got nice and firm. And I'm, I like to serve it up here with some fresh organic blueberries. It got, the combination of blueberry and lemon goes really well together. What I really like is it's nice and creamy because we grinded up the chia seeds. It's nice and smooth, just like you'd expect for a pudding to be. And it's got that nice lemon, fresh lemon flavor. It's really delicious. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this. So if you like lemon and coconut recipes, I've got one for you that you really must try. I'm gonna leave a link right over here for you. It's my coconut lemon chicken over zoodles. It is really delicious. You really gotta try it. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video and we'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.